Hi everybody, I planned on doing daily videos this week, but jumping back into things without talking about everything that's been happening just didn't feel right. What a time to be alive. I don't know where you are, but in LA, the sirens and helicopters are a constant reminder of everything that's happening all over the city. There's little to be happy about these days, but one of the most encouraging things to me has been the momentum that this movement has gathered. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery are all household names and their legacies are being carved out in the actions of tens of thousands of peaceful protesters every day. And before I go any further, this is not a political issue. This is not about which side of the aisle you or I stand on. This is a humanitarian issue, and if you think I'm wrong, ask your black friends how many times in their life they've been pulled over by cops with guns drawn. As a white person, I'm not afraid of that ever happening to me, but it's a reality for black Americans every day. If you don't think you have certain privileges in this country as a white person, take a look at this photo. If the man with his hand on the gun were black, the cop wouldn't be trying to talk him down. There would just be one more dead son, husband, brother, or father. I don't care if George Floyd was on drugs or had a criminal record. He was a human being made in God's image, and he didn't deserve a knee on his neck for almost nine minutes from someone whose job it is to serve and protect. We did some volunteer work on Friday. There was a cleanup effort in South Central. For a couple hours, we joined about a thousand other people picking up trash and cleaning graffiti. No looting, no tear gas, just a bunch of people wanted to help. It was a beautiful thing to be a part of, but I know it's not enough. We're investigating other ways to further help our community, but while we do that, I'm getting back to making videos, just not every day. We'll be talking about what's happening right now for a very long time, as well as what we did during this time, and I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent it at home making videos on the internet. I'm not committing to a schedule because I want to be free to attend events around town, but yeah, break over. Stay safe and let's all listen to each other more.